What is up to all my creative friends out there in the world? Charlie Pang is here. Today I want to show you guys how I turn my Procreate drawings into vectors using Adobe Illustrator. A lot of you really wanted to see this video, so here it is. Uh, before we get into it though, I wanted to give a huge shout out to my friends over at Bella Canvas. If you guys are in the market for some wholesale shirts, Bella Canvas has you covered. They have a ton of styles to choose from as well as color options, and their fabric is next level. So definitely check them out in the description below. Let's go ahead and get this video started, guys. <laughs> Every time I create a design, I always start the same way. I start in Procreate, I create all my rough sketches, I create all my final line work, and then what I do is I bring it into Illustrator and I create a vector out of that design, right? Because I want to give it to my clients in the highest quality format I can possibly give them. And there's a few reasons why I actually take my uh, Procreate designs and convert it to vector using Illustrator. And that's because, you know, it's more widely used by screen printing shops. Um, it's the highest quality file you can get, which means you can blow it up to any size and it's it's not going to lose quality and a lot of your clients are going to love that so uh, with that being said what I want to do is go into my iPad Pro right now into Procreate app and I have a design pulled up here and then from here what I want to do is share it to my MacBook Pro so I can then bring it into Illustrator and finalize it so uh, what I want to do is hit the little branch icon and then from there I want to go to share it's pretty simple we want to go to share and I want to export it as a TIFF so I want to share it as a TIFF and I'm going to share that to my MacBook Pro so, oops, I clicked out of it. So now I want to go to TIFF and it's going to say exporting. And then from here, you want to actually uh, go to your AirDrop, which is on the very top. And then from there, you just want to hit your MacBook Pro, whatever the name is, click that. It's going to pop up on your computer now. Um, and then you want to save that to downloads. Now, if you do not have a MacBook Pro with AirDrop, do not worry, it's totally fine. All you have to do is email it to yourself or save it and then email it to yourself that way. It doesn't really matter. Uh, basically, what we're trying to do is get that file to our computer. It doesn't matter if you have a PC or a Mac. So after sharing it to my MacBook Pro, it's gonna pop up in my downloads. So from there, I just wanna drag it into Illustrator. So here, I'm gonna do that real quick. Once I drag it into Illustrator, what I do is I resize it. So if I zoom in real quick, actually, I just wanna show you what I'm looking at. You can see that there's a lot of like you know, imperfections, right? It looks like I used a pencil in Procreate, which I did. So it's definitely not perfect and that's exactly exactly why I like to take my designs into Illustrator to clean them up and get them ready for print. So from here what I want to do is I actually want to resize it to my artboard. And by the way, it doesn't matter what size your document is because we're working with vector here, right? So it's always going to yield higher quality results. It doesn't matter if it's a 4x4 document or a 10x10 document. It's always going to be high quality results. So I can always take this design and resize it to whatever I want later on. Once you resize your art, then you're ready to go. What you want to do is you want to click on it and then you want to go up to image trace once you click image trace it's gonna pop up this dialog box and you can just say do not sh uh, show again and then click OK and then it's basically not gonna sh uh, pop up again once you click OK on the image trace you're definitely gonna notice that you're gonna lose some quality on your design but that's totally fine we're gonna go into the settings and fine-tune it and get some detail back so what I want to do is zoom in a little bit I want to go up to this little menu icon right here click that and you're gonna go to your image trace options here and then we're gonna go to advanced and hit that little drop down arrow and once you do that, you're gonna see a bunch of different options. What we wanna focus on first is noise, okay? Basically, noise is gonna control how much texture is in the image, how much detail is in the image. So if you do have textures, just mess with the noise, uh, lower it, and you can also raise it depending on how much texture you wanna keep in your design. So I'm gonna lower it quite a bit because I want those dots to pop up. And as you can see, once I lower noise, you can see the texture uh, reappear at the bottom. And I can even go like maybe two with it. I'm gonna go to two real quick and see what that does let it load, and as you can see, it's looking much better. And then from here, we can mess with the paths and the corners until we're happy. Another thing I do to add some more texture back into my design is mess with threshold. I don't do it too often though, unless I really need to. Um, for this design, what I wanna do is lower noise all the way to one. I don't know why you can't go below one. So I have one pixel of noise, and as you can see, the texture looks pretty good now. Everything looks pretty good. I'm gonna mess with paths a little bit more. I'm gonna go up to 86%. Um, and then what I wanna do is kinda zoom out and look at it and this is looking pretty good the only other thing I do is I go down to options and I go ignore white because I want this to be completely transparent meaning all that texture is going to be see-through it's going to be cut through the design and I'll show you exactly what I mean by that you're going to get something that looks like this if I drag this design 
to this gray background. You can see that we're left with just black ink and that's exactly what I wanted. Now from here I have a lot of options. I can change the color of this design. I can leave it black. I can add color to it. I can do whatever I want. Let me just show you a quick demonstration. If I make it this red color, you can see that it's still transparent but I added red where the black was. That my friends is how I vector all of my Procreate drawings using Illustrator. Really simple process. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, one other extra tip is if you're going to save your design, you can save it as an EPS, a PDF, or a AI file, it doesn't matter, whatever your client wants or whatever you desire. Uh, so the export process is pretty simple. Just go file, save as, and choose a file type and you're good to go. So I hope that helps guys. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I wanna give a huge shout out to my friends over at Bella Canvas one more time. If you guys are starting a clothing line or you already own one or you just wanna buy some wholesale shirts, Bella Canvas has some of the best wholesale blanks out there on the market. They have so many different styles to choose from as well as color options. I'm actually wearing one right now and they just feel so comfortable. They're kind of lightweight, um, but the fabric is very versatile and it washes great. It doesn't shrink too much or anything like that. And these shirts are great for screen printing and DTG printing. So I will put this style in the description below as well as some other links so you can check out their other styles and their social media accounts. Hit the thumbs up button if you guys love the video. And also let me know what you guys thought about the video in the comment section below. Guys, I will see you in the next one. Keep creating, keep being awesome. Peace.